So I was uh, at the PepsiCo Festival, which was <gasps> then called the PepsiCo That's Festival. That's right. Uh, just outside of New York, and I went to see a number of shows in 1985 in the summer. And uh, I was very impressed with, had never heard of your work, because I, I was fairly ignorant, I suppose. Well, it was newish. It was newish. It was recent. Right, and, and I was very impressed with it, and I went backstage and introduced myself. Probably one of many people who went backstage. And Probably. Uh, I, I don't know. You think I remember 1987? Come on. 1985. 85. Oh, I don't remember. See? Yeah, right. I don't remember anything that happened in 1985. Yeah. See a great talent, you remember. I mean, you should if you're in my business. If you don't, you're out of the business. <laughs> this goes da 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 da. It's not a shot of any kind. It's step, 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 step. We perform in Berkeley more than we perform anywhere on earth. We come here two or three times a season all the time. People say, like, what are you doing when you come here in a month? It's like, I don't know. And I don't know, but it doesn't mean, it's not because I'm irresponsible, it's because it's not time for me to know yet. Yeah, right. And I know that whatever new work we're doing, we'll do here at Berkeley. That's, it's part of the gig. I think it works because of your interest in live music and my interest in live music. Yeah. And the fact that, you know, if you say, oh, I remember last year we did that show where we had an E-Bear piece with a f of kind of a weird orchestration. Yeah. Richard Rogers' piece was kind of a weird orchestration, yeah. and the William Walton piece was kind of a weird orchestration. Yeah. All three different, and in lots of places that would be a big problem. That's you, right. You know, I mean, because you've got three different orchestras, basically, that all need different kinds of instrumentation and different rehearsal schedules and so on and so forth. I mean, it's, it's a, the kind of show that I don't think you do many places. No, that's true, <laughs> we, we don't. And we did it here last year. And we love to. And the, the other thing is it's not just you and I who, like, um, who like good live music, everybody does. Right. <laughs> they don't all know it, or right. they, you come not to expect it. Yeah. If you go to a modern dance show, you're very likely going to get a kind of a irritating recording of a piece of music that you already know too well. That's just how people work. And we don't, and so it's like, wait a minute, that's, it's real? Hooray. It's a concert and it's a dance. Yeah. <laughs> everybody loves that. I say to you, Barry, or whoever's in the room, we say, oh, we have to have a new work next year and we'll help commission it. And then I talked to Nancy, he has a fabulous staff, that we can do business like that, mm -hmm. like, you know. But then the point is, I don't ask him what it is, it's up to him. It's whatever he wants to do. Right. You know, it's, we don't even, I hear about it later on. Well, if it's a string quartet, then that's great. Bartok fourth, that's even greater, you know. If it's a bigger piece, for example, we're talking about another piece that we hope that we can commission or co-commission with a national or international partner, which would be a full-length evening, then we talk about what the piece is because there's so many, you know, it's so many things involved, uh, including the orchestra, which mm -hmm. kind of chorus, singers, and all that sort of stuff. So we would talk about the specific work then, more likely. And, you know, because it, then it has to go several places and it's a bigger, a bigger project. production yeah. and more... It's more work on everybody's yeah. part. Yeah. In other words, I wouldn't think that it's going to be King Arthur Purcell, and then he comes up with Vacek by Lulu. No, by, by uh, uh, Berg. Berg, yeah. Reliable and trustworthy. That's a very important thing, and it's very, very unusual in the semi-sad state of the <laughs> arts in the United States. So Robert, uh, Robert and Cal Performances, this unit, right, and the Mark Morris Dance Group unit combine reliably and consistently and comfortably and with uh, trust and yeah. legitimacy. That's what it is. We collaborate with trust. Yeah. In other words, they know they're going to get paid. We know yeah. we're going to get a great show. We're going to show I mean, up, yeah. <laughs> and people will come. We have a big audience, thanks to us and him and them. Yeah. You know, it's great. If people didn't come, we wouldn't come. I also, you know, I'm a choreographer, so I'm, more, I'm most interested in choreographing. Yeah. What I like to do, my favorite thing to do is to make up a dance. So it's not like, you know, I, you have to hold a gun to my head or anything. Right. You could, but you don't have to. <laughs>